10 little known body language signs that someone is attracted to you. Here's an insider scoop. There are some little known body language signs that reveal if someone is attracted to you. Allow me to guide you through these intriguing signals of attraction in the following paragraphs. These are 10 little known body language signs that someone just might be into you. One, the power of eye contact. Eye contact is a powerful tool in human communication. It's a simple yet strong signal that can reveal someone's interest in you. When someone is attracted to you, they're likely to maintain eye contact for longer periods of time. Now this isn't about those fleeting glances we exchange in passing. I'm talking about deep, meaningful eye contact. The kind that feels almost as if they're trying to see into your soul or understand you at a deeper level. Of course, context matters. Prolonged eye contact during a serious conversation is different from sustained eye contact across a crowded room. But here's the takeaway. If someone can't seem to take their eyes off you, it might be because they're attracted to you. Just remember, interpreting body language should always be done considering the overall situation and other signals. Eye contact alone isn't definitive proof of attraction but it's definitely a sign worth considering too. The undeniable lean-in, you know. I've always found it interesting how our bodies tend to gravitate towards the things or people that we are attracted to. I remember this one time when I was at a friend's party. There was this guy who I'd just met as the evening progressed. I noticed that whenever we were talking, he would subtly lean in closer to me. Even when we were in a loud room, he would lean in to hear what I had to say instead of asking me to speak up. This wasn't just about physical proximity. It was about showing interest and engagement in our conversation. His leaning in made me feel like my words were important and his attention was solely focused on me. If you notice someone constantly leaning in while interacting with you, it could be a sign that they're attracted to you. It's their body's way of saying they want to be closer and connect at a deeper level. But as always, consider other signs and the overall context before making any assumptions. Three, the magic of mirroring. Mirroring is another telltale sign of attraction. It's when someone subconsciously imitates the gestures, speech pattern or attitude of another person. This phenomenon is a part of human behavior that revolves around empathy and rapport building. Now here's something you might not know. Our brain has specific cells called mirror neurons that are responsible for this behavior. They fire both when we perform an action and when we observe someone else performing the same action. So if you notice that someone is mirroring your actions, maybe they pick up their drink. When you do, they cross their legs the same way as you or they use similar phrases, it could be a sign that they are attracted to you. However, it's essential to remember that mirroring can also be a sign of comfort and rapport. It doesn't always signify attraction, so it's necessary to consider other signs in the context as well. Four, the subtle touch. There's something about touch that can convey more than words ever could. When someone is attracted to you, they might find ways to initiate physical contact. However, subtle it might be. It could be a light touch on the arm during a conversation, a pat on the back, or brushing their hand against yours unintentionally, or so it seems. This gentle initiation of contact is their way of testing the waters, seeing how comfortable you are with them, being in your personal space. But remember, context and consent are crucial. A touch can mean different things in different settings and everyone has their boundaries. Always ensure any form of touch is respectful and consensual. Five, the revealing smile. A smile can say a thousand words, especially when it comes to attraction. When someone is attracted to you, they tend to smile more around you, 
It's not just any smile, but one that lights up their face and reaches their eyes. It's a genuine warm smile that makes you feel special and appreciated. This isn't about those polite or formal smiles we give out of courtesy. It's about those spontaneous smiles that come out when they see you, hear your voice, or even just think about you. So, if you see someone's face lighting up with a heartfelt smile every time they're around you, it could be a sign that they're attracted to you. But as always, consider other signs and the overall context before jumping to conclusions. Six, the attentive listener. There's something truly beautiful about being heard and understood. When someone is attracted to you, they often become incredibly attentive to what you're saying. They show genuine interest in your stories, your opinions, and your feelings. They remember the little d. Tales you share about yourself. This isn't just about nodding along or maintaining eye contact. It's about engaging with your thoughts and ideas, asking follow-up questions, and showing empathy. Being heard can make you feel valued and important. So, if someone makes you feel this way every time you talk to them, it could be a sign of their attraction towards you. Remember though, that while being an attentive listener is a lovely quality and can indicate attraction, it can also just be a sign of good manners or friendship. Always consider the broader context and other signs as well. The nervous fidget. Sometimes attraction can make us a little nervous and this shows up in our body language. I remember back in college, there was this girl I was really attracted to. Every time I was around her, I found myself fidgeting with anything I could find. My pen, my keys, even my own fingers. This isn't only about being nervous, it's also about having excess energy that your body doesn't know what to do with. It's like your body is saying, I really like this person and I don't want to mess this up. So if you notice someone fidgeting around you, maybe they're playing with their hair, tapping their feet, or constantly adjusting their clothes, it might be a sign that they're attracted to you. People can fidget for various reasons. It's essential to consider other signs and the overall context before making any assumptions. Eight, the open posture. Body orientation and posture can speak volumes about a person's feelings towards you. When someone is attracted to you, they often adopt an open posture around you. This means their body is facing towards you, their arms are uncrossed, and their feet are pointed in your direction. This open posture is a non-verbal way of saying, I am comfortable around you and I want to connect with you. It's about being receptive and inviting, creating a space where you feel welcomed. So if you find someone consistently maintaining an open posture around you, it might be a sign that they're attracted to you. But as always, it's crucial to consider other signs and the context before jumping to any conclusions. 9. The lingering goodbye. Goodbyes can often reveal more than hellos. When someone is attracted to you, they might hesitate to say goodbye. This could mean longer hugs, extended conversations at the door, or a lingering look as they walk away. This isn't just about reluctance to part ways. It's about wanting to savor every moment they get to spend with you. It's about hoping for just a bit more time, a few more words, or one last shared laugh. If you notice someone prolonging their goodbyes with you, it could be a strong indication that they're attracted to you. 10. The subconscious leg cross. Now, here's something that might surprise you. The way someone positions their legs can actually be a subtle indicator of attraction. It's a little thing, but in the complex world of body language, it speaks volumes. Picture this. You're sitting across from someone deep in conversation. As you share a laugh or a meaningful moment, you notice their legs are crossed and interestingly pointed towards you. This isn't just a random posture. 
it's a subconscious signal. The leg cross, especially when it's directed towards the person of interest, is like a non-verbal cue that says, I'm focused on you. It's their body aligning with their interest, literally pointing towards the person they find captivating. But, as with all body language, context is king. If someone is sitting in a cramped space or trying to get comfortable, that leg cross might just be for comfort. However, if you notice this happening in a more open and relaxed setting, coupled with some of the other signs we've talked about, it could well be a subtle signal of attraction. Final thoughts. It's all about connection. Understanding body language and human attraction is like learning a new language. Complex, nuanced, and incredibly fascinating. While we've explored some signs that might indicate someone's attraction towards you, it's essential to remember that each person is unique. Everyone expresses their feelings differently, shaped by their personality, experiences, and cultural context. Attraction isn't just about finding the right signs or perfect words. It's a dance between two people, connecting on various levels, physical, emotional, and intellectual. So if you've noticed some of these signs in someone and you share the same feelings, perhaps it's time to communicate openly about them. Remember, authentic communication is always more valuable than deciphering hidden signals. As the famous saying goes, the most important thing in communication is hearing what isn't said. Peter Drucker. This journey of understanding body language signs is just another testament to that wisdom. So take these insights, observe the world around you, and continue this fascinating exploration of human behavior and connection.